Hello friends, this video on soil part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Importance of soil Soil profile Soil types Properties of soil Water absorption by soil Soil erosion And finally soil pollution so here we are going to learn all about soil. Now, I don't think soil needs any introduction. All of you know what is soil. Now, which is that most common place where you get soil? I mean, what is that thing that comes to your mind whenever you think of soil? I'm sure that would be plants because have you ever seen a plant growing without soil? So most of the plants, they need soil. Why? Because, you know, Soil is the reservoir of water. Soil provides water to the plant. Soil provides nutrients, minerals, everything that is needed for growth and development of the plant. So that is all provided by the soil. So just if you want, you just go to your garden, the small garden which you have in your house. There also you, you see that plants are there on the soil. So their roots are like firmly uh, attached to the soil. So they cannot grow without soil. Now, do you think that soil is important only because plants need soil for their growth? So plants are one thing, in fact not one thing, one of the most important things which need soil. What else? Not only plants but a lot of other living organisms also find their home in soil. So one good example is the earthworm. In fact, many creatures like earthworm can be seen in soil. Small insects, small, uh, you know, worms, they live in soil. So if there is no soil, so all these organisms are going to lose their home. So, so soil is kind of a home for a lot of living organisms and all these living organisms which live inside the soil, they together form a soil ecosystem. And Soil is important for growth of plants and I, I really do not need to say how important plants are. So plants, they prepare their own food by photosynthesis and then all other living organisms are dependent on plants. So a lot of living organisms like goat, cows, they all eat plants directly. Other living organisms like human beings, they eat either plants directly or other animals which eat plants. Other animals like lions, tigers, they eat animals which eat plants. So that means plant is like the main source of food. So plants are very important and for plants you need soil. So soil is equally important. So here we are going to talk about soil. So as I was telling, have you ever noticed the living organisms except plants which live in the soil? If not, just Observe during a rainy day, often during rainy season or a rainy day when it rains consecutively for a couple of days, you will see these earthworms on the surface, maybe inside your houses, inside your kitchen, you get to see these earthworms. Do you know from where do they come? So they normally live inside the soil, but during heavy rains, the soil get completely clogged with water, too much of water. Uh, gets accumulated in the soil. So that's why it becomes difficult for the earthworms to live inside that water clogged soil. So that, that's when they come out of the soil and we get to see them here and there. So these earthworms, for them, their home is soil. So not only earthworms, many other small insects and creatures, they live inside the soil. So if you want to see it for yourself, what you can do is maybe just go to your garden, take a pot where you have sufficient amount of soil and just try to take out some amount of soil, maybe uh, a handful or two. You take some amount of soil, just keep it somewhere. Just try to observe, do you see any living organisms in that? Either you will see small ant-like structures or you will see small flies or small worms so some of the other creatures will be clearly visible to you and that's how you can say that yes soil acts as a home for a lot of living organisms so i think these are reasons good enough 
to let us know that why is it required or why are we learning about soil because soil is very important as you can see. So what is soil? So soil is something which exists naturally in nature. We do not prepare soil as such, at least we do not prepare it. It gets prepared automatically by the natural processes and it is all natural. So it is a natural resource found on the surface of the earth. So where do we see soil? It is present on the surface of the earth. So it exists naturally and what it what is it made up of? Now, if, if you take some amount of uh, soil in your hand, what do you see? I mean, how do you feel about the texture of the soil? You feel as if uh, a lot, some tiny small particles, they are all together forming that soil. So that's how you feel when you uh, take uh, soil in your hand. Basically, if you talk about the composition of soil, it is made up of both organic and inorganic material. So organic material is also present in the soil and inorganic material is also present. So organic material, anything which contains carbon that is organic. And these organic material, they help to improve the fertility of the soil. So these organic material, they act as important nutrients for, for the plants. Not only organic, in fact, a lot of inorganic nutrients are also very important for plants growth. So if you talk about the appearance of uh, soil, it is generally black or dark brown in color. So however, the color, you know, it uh, uh, depends. Now in certain places, you will see that the color of the soil is more towards the reddish tint. In some places you will see that it is completely black. But however, the color is normally brown, dark brown, blackish in color. And if, if you look at what all substances are present in the soil, so few things which you can see in the soil are rock particles, small pieces of rocks, very tiny pieces of rocks. You can also see clay. You can uh, also find uh, these kind of very black, blackish colored uh, thing which is called humus. And humus is very important for fertility of plants. So humus is actually produced by the remains of dead plants and animals. So they decompose and they form humus. So all these things are commonly found in soil. Now we are going to talk so much about soil that we, are, we have actually dedicated one lesson on soil. So I think it is worth spending a couple of minutes knowing the importance of soil. However, I already told you that it is very important for plants. It is also home for a lot of organisms. So let us quickly have a recap. So first of all, it is important for growth of plants. So plants are dependent on soil for water, for minerals, for nutrients and without all these plants cannot grow. And how do these plants help us? These plants provide us food which we eat either in the form of cereals or in the form of fruits or vegetables. So all those things are derived finally from plants. Retain water. Now how the soil helps in the growth of plants? That's because soil has one very important property that it can hold a lot of water. Now, there are many different types of soil which exist in nature. Now, it may happen that some type of soil retain more water, some type of soil do not retain a lot of water. But a common uh, feature of all the soils is that they have the ability to hold at least some amount of water. And that water is then utilized by the plants for their uh, growth. Hold roots of the plants, it also provides, so the soil is providing mechanical support to the plants. So, you see, when, as the plant keeps growing, so it, it does it ever happen that as the plant grows, it bends or it falls down, nothing like that happens. Why? Because as the plant is growing upward, in a very similar way, the roots of the plants are also growing. And as the roots are growing, they are kind of getting uh, more strongly, more firmly attached to the soil. So soil provides a support to hold the roots of the plants and that's, that gives the physical stability to the plants. Provide shelter to many organisms, like the best example as I had mentioned before is earthworm. 
And you know one beautiful thing about earthworm is that uh, it lives in the soil and it also improves the fertility of the soil. So what do we mean by fertility of the soil? A, a fertile soil is one which supports or which favors the growth and development of crops. So the crop productivity increases if the soil is fertile. But if the soil is not fertile, there is no point cultivating on that particular soil. So these are some of the very important uh, properties very important uses of soil thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again